just woke up and there was blood everywhere. Scariest moment of my entire life. I didn't know what was happening. I thought I might have snapped my neck. What's up, YouTube? So, as a lot of you guys know, I fell off an 80-foot cliff, which is kind of crazy, but today I'm going to be answering a whole bunch of your guys' questions about my recovery, what this has been like for me mentally, physically. Did it hurt? Whew, did it hurt? That is, uh... Yes, it did hurt. It was the most painful thing I've ever been through in my entire life, um, which is kind of interesting because I didn't cry at all. Like my friend said, I didn't scream. I didn't make any noises. I didn't cry. I was just breathing and trying to stay alive, I guess. I was so stressed out that the pain wasn't even what I was focusing on. I was just like, am I going to die right now? Because I genuinely didn't know. Like, I had no idea what had happened. I just woke up and there was blood everywhere. And I was just like, so shook. Like, what just happened, you know? Like, how did you get in the hospital? I got airlifted in a helicopter straight to the closest hospital. And I think my friends told me that I was down in that ravine for about an hour and a half to two hours before the helicopter got there. So it's honestly a miracle I didn't bleed out because my elbow was open and my head was open and they were both shooting blood. Um, so that's probably why I felt so lightheaded and very out of it, just not sure if I was gonna live. Is it true you fell making a TikTok? No, it is not true. I did not fall making a TikTok. For some reason there's so many AIs ever since I fell off that cliff that have been imitating me and how scared were you and will you be able to work out again? I was extremely scared. Scariest moment of my entire life. Felt like I was gonna die. Felt like I didn't know if there would be a tomorrow for me. And will I be able to work out again? Yes, in time. I don't know that I'll ever be able to work out the way that I used to because of my injuries, but I'll get back into it as soon as I can, and I can't wait for that. Do you think you will have trauma from the experience? 100% I will have trauma. Now, will that trauma help me learn from my experiences or will it hold me down? I believe it'll help me learn from the mistakes that I've made, like not being careful enough on a mountainside, you know? How long were you out for? I think I was unconscious from my concussion for about an hour until my friend was able to wake me up. It could have only been 30 to 45 minutes. I don't, I honestly don't know. I'd have to call and ask my friend somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour. Will your life ever go back to complete normal? No, it will not. Once it comes back to normal, it will be a new normal because the perspective that I have on life is much different than it was prior to the fall. So there will be a new normal, but there will never be the normal that it used to be for me, trying to make the best out of a very, very crappy situation. What is something you want to do after you fully healed? And I really like this question because I have tons of stuff that I want to do. I want to just travel for like months on end. I just want to keep on traveling and I want to bring you guys with me. How long were you in the hospital for? I believe I was in the hospital for a week, which is way quicker than I thought. I thought I might be in there for a month. So I've been home for a week and a half now. So two and a half weeks since the accident. And I feel great. I feel, um, I mean, I feel in pain all the time, but I feel very blessed to be where I'm at with my recovery. What has the fall impacted your everyday life? Walking, brushing my teeth, showering, everything has been impacted. I need help, practically anything. I can't really eat right now because of this wrist. I'm not supposed to pick anything up. Sometimes I try to if it's very light, but I'm supposed to do nothing with this wrist. And then my other arm, I can't really get stuff to my face. I've been doing tons of physical therapy. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I've been doing with my physical therapy. How many bones did you break from the fall? I broke two bones in my wrist, so a double fracture. One of them is actually on my wrist joint. I broke my elbow, so my elbow joint that connects my forearm to my tricep muscles, I guess, is gone, so they put two metal plates right here and a whole bunch of screws. And I also broke my femur, snapped it in half, and there's a metal rod going through my leg now with I think four screws right here, another four right here, and then another four. I do have this burn right here from the fall. It's like a friction burn. It's gonna leave a pretty nasty scar. Which one of your breaks hurts the worst? My elbow, honestly. The elbow's been really bad. What actually hurts me the most is kind of weird. It's my shoulder. My shoulder gives me the most amount of pain. It's not even broken. Would you ever go hiking again? And the answer to that is yes. 100%. I love hiking. It's one of my favorite things that I do. I won't be able to for a long time because of the recovery. But once I do get back out there into the woods and hiking and stuff, I'm going to have a new sense of healthy fear. But I'm not going to let that hold me back and I'm still going to venture into the world. I want to travel. 
that's one of my favorite things to do and I just can't wait to when um, I'm able to do all the things that I love again. Yeah. Do you think you're scared of heights now? I don't know. I haven't been up high. Um, I don't even remember the fall, so I don't know if I will be scared of heights. It's probably or, a blessing that you don't remember it. Yeah, it, it is a blessing. It definitely would probably be even more traumatic if I did remember the fall. What are the hardest parts of the whole process? The hardest parts would definitely be the mental strain it's been taking on me, just um, not being able to do the things that I love on a day-to-day -day basis not being able to go play volleyball with my friends, not being able to surf, not being able to go hiking, not being able to just be out in life. The second hardest part would probably be just the physical toll it's been taking on me because I'll go to stand up and I'll go to walk and it'll just be so painful. And just, uh, my, I'm not able to do what I was able to do beforehand. I've never been in this position before where I'm this badly injured to where I just, I don't feel like the same person sometimes. <sighs> By the grace of God and by all these prayers that you guys have been sending me and my parents have been just wonderfully helpful for me in this season. The doctors have been very helpful um, and I'm just extremely blessed. So I've just been trying to hold on to the positive thoughts and everything that can build me up instead of tear me down because I don't need to be torn down right now. I gotta, gotta find my way back up. What do you think helped you pull through like when you were laying there? Helped me pull through when I was like at the bottom of the yeah, mountain. Yeah. I guess the thoughts that I was trying to hold on to were number one, don't die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just keep breathing, don't fall asleep. All of the things that you know you're taught if you're in a bad situation. Also, my friends were a big help. One of my friends somehow, somehow he climbed down the 80 foot cliff, got to me, got me awake. He like was tapping me, Caleb, are you okay? Uh, making sure I was breathing. He tried to even bring me water. He ended up climbing up and down that cliff three consecutive times. By the time the helicopter got there and he was down there with me, like trying to help them uh, get me into the stretcher, they were saying, you should get in the helicopter with us. Like, how did you climb down here? Like, this is, because <laughs> it's a sheer cliff. Like, wow. it was not something that was easy to climb. So, I'd say my friends helped me and a normal amount. I had three friends there with me who were all being very helpful. Saved my life, called the ambulance for me, helicopter got there. Um, but ultimately, probably the number one thought that was in my head other than my surroundings was my family. Just thinking about seeing my family again, thinking about seeing my aunt, my mom, my dad, my sister. Um, and I was just praying that I would be able to see them again because I didn't know what was going to happen. I, I had no idea. How long will it take for your elbow to be fully recovered? And the answer to that question is my elbow will never be fully recovered according to the doctors. And what I mean by that is I'll never be able to straighten it fully again, but I may be able to get this um, inward motion back completely and the amount of time that it will take for that like 90% recovery is what the doctors say is somewhere between six months to a year just depending on how fast I recover um, but hopefully closer to the six months so I can start traveling. How much movement do you have in it right now? You want to show so it The movement that I have in my elbow right now I'm not supposed to move it outward because of my tricep muscles tore and they had to reconnect them actually okay. so I'm supposed to let gravity pull it down so straightening wise, that's all that gravity can do right now. Coming towards me, this is all I can do without assisting. And then with assistance, I can oof, force it to like right there. How has it been for you mentally? It's been the hardest mental thing that I've ever been through in my life. Uh, very stressful, very difficult to process, earth shattering, perspective breaking, but through that, I have become stronger, I feel. Every day I'm just trying to stay more and more positive, continue just talking to friends and, and not keeping it inside. I think one of the number one things that's helped me process this mentally is talking about the stuff that's hard to talk about. If, if you're trying to process it on your own, there's gonna be no process. It's just like taking a bottle of Sprite and shaking it up and just keep on shaking it up until it explodes. So instead of shaking that bottle up, just opening the lid and letting people in, you know? After recovering, do you think you'd still want to do things like climbing cliffs again? I would say 100% I want to climb cliffs, but the doctor said one thing that I won't be able to ever do again is rock climbing, which is something that I've always been passionate about. I used to rock climb when I was younger, uh, like competitively and stuff, but they said because of this 
elbow that won't be able to fully straighten ever again. I won't be able to rock climb, but we'll see about that. You know, I'm still going to try, but I don't know. What were you thinking before and after you fell? Before I fell, I was just thinking about how wonderful of a day I was having with my friends. We were about three or four hours into a hike. So, you know, just having a good day. And I had a very bad concussion, which I already got my staples out, but I think you might be able to see a little bit of like the scar tissue right here. So I don't really remember like right before the fall, I have no memory. So before I fell, the only thing I remember was being happy. Once I woke up, the first thought I had was, what the heck just happened? I didn't know I had fell 80 feet. The point in which I knew how far I had fell was once the paramedics got there in the helicopter and I heard someone say 80 feet. And I was like, 80 feet what? Like, what do you mean 80 feet? Like, did I fall off of that cliff that we were just looking down? Like, I couldn't even believe it. I was in shock. When are you gonna start powerlifting again and how are you gonna lift competitively? I don't know that I will ever be able to powerlift again just because of my injuries, my elbow. I don't know if I'll be able to deadlift. I don't know if I'll be able to squat. These are all unknowns that I hope I will be able to do. I have lots of hope and aspirations, but I don't know that they'll be able to play out. So I'm just praying and doing my physical therapy and I'm gonna cross that bit bridge when I come to it. Are you genuinely okay? Update on the healing process. So I am genuinely not okay. I am genuinely doing better than I was two weeks ago and the healing process is coming along quicker than I ever could have imagined and I'm very blessed for that, so. How much of your recovery do you attribute to having a positive mindset and just like being grateful? 60%. Along with that 60%, 60% of that 60% is from my family, the Bible, Jesus, the doctors, just everything. I've just been so blessed through this season and it's just given me um, new perspectives on life 100%. What was your main motivation and what advice would you give to someone else in your situation? Number one motivation has been, what will my life look like after I'm fully done recovering, which is something that I am very excited for. I'm gonna be traveling. I'm gonna be living my life in a way that I've never lived it before because this whole experience experience has helped me realize that time is so valuable and there's no time to waste. I have a lot of time left in my life, but at the same time, I don't. I might only be 18, but 100 years is not that long and I want to live as much of those years that I'm going to live to the fullest extent. Moving forward in my life, the new passion for life. The advice I would give to someone else in my situation is take it slow. Don't stress the little things. You have a long life to live. Do what you know you need to do. Hold on to those things that you know are important. Don't listen to the hate. Don't listen to people that are tearing you down. Find the people that actually want to build you up and hold on to them. Don't waste time. <laughs> That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope something I said helped you. I can't wait to make more videos and bring you guys with me. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me alive. Thank you for my family, for everything they've done for me. Thank you to the doctors because they did a fantastic job. And just a massive thank you to everyone. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.